welcome back to the Everyday Icon channel. I'm your host Tiffany and today celebration of Black History Month, I wanted to do a topic that is near and dear to my heart and that is historically black colleges and universities because I am a proud product of St. Augustine College which is now a university um, and I can only say great things about my experience at the school at the school and attending an HBCU. So I wanted to just talk about a little bit the importance of HBCUs and even the importance of attending an HBCU and also the fact of uh, saving our HBCUs because they are in jeopardy and in danger so far. So just a little bit of background. Um, HBCUs were established um, before the Civil Rights Act in, of 1964 and their primary intention was servicing the African American community because we did not have a lot of schools that we could attend or if they did let us in it was extremely hard or of course they just didn't want us in at all. So we went and we started to create our own our own educational institutions. Um, currently right now there are 101 HBCUs across the country before that, in the 1930s, there were, at the time, 121 institutions um, at that time. The first HBCU was, is actually Cheney University of Pennsylvania, and it was founded in 1837. And if you live in Pennsylvania, it is actually outside of Philadelphia. I think it might be maybe an hour an hour give or take outside of Philadelphia. So if, you, if you're in the neighborhood and you're looking for a school in your PA in Pennsylvania, definitely check it out. Um, a little bit of background about why I attended an HBCU really quick. My, I was at the time, I graduated school in 92. And at the time I was attending community college um, in Pittsburgh, um, community college of Allegheny County. And my sister, she was a senior in high school and she attended the Historically Black College fair, um, not fair, tour that they have every year there. And she came back and she loved the different schools. You know, I think they went to Hampton, South Carolina. They went to St. Augs, they went to Howard. I believe they went to Cheney and Lincoln. I believe they went to Wilberforce. They went to um, Florida A&M, Clark Atlanta, Spelman, Morehouse. I believe those were some of the schools that they went to and I, it's but it was about a week long trip so she came back and at the time I wasn't even thinking about going away to school or if I was I was thinking of staying local either going to University of Pittsburgh IUP of Pennsylvania um, Slippery Rock and a few other schools that were there but when she came back and she started talking about the experience she had and what she liked about the schools when she went down there I decided to take a look at not just HBCUs, but also um, possibly attending schools outside of Pittsburgh and outside of Pennsylvania. So I applied to several HBCUs. I applied to St. Augustine's College. I applied, and I think the only other school I applied to was North Carolina Central University. I received, and a few other schools as well, I didn't get into the other schools but I did get into St. Augustine's College, so I was excited, and I actually had several friends from high school that were also attending St. Augs at the time. So keep in mind, I never visited the schools. I just applied to the school. I got in and started my journey, and I did get into North Carolina Central University as well. The only reason why I didn't attend there was because I literally got my acceptance letter the day before I was leaving to go to St. Aug. Even though once I got down to St. Aug, and I'll go over it in a minute, I did consider transferring. So I get down to St. Aug, I get there, and literally the school, it's a very small school. So you can drive in and you can drive around the circle and pretty much for the most part, that's the, that's the whole campus on the whole, even though there are a few other schools there. I really wasn't, I was excited, but I was excited. Um, and I really, at that time, didn't take the importance of our institutions at that time. 
So I would go to class, make friends. Um, primarily, I would go to class, go back to my room, study, and that was it. So my freshman year, I really didn't get a full college experience because I was, plus I think because I was older, I was 21 when I went to school. So I was more focused on studying and now I'm actually paying real money to go to school. So with that, I thought about transferring. I thought about transferring either back home, going to um, India, IUP University of Pennsylvania or Slippery Rock. But at the same time, I also considered Winston-Salem State and North Carolina Central because a lot of people didn't like St. Aug at the time and they were transferring. The majority people that did transfer, I believe they ended up transferring to North Carolina Central University. So because I had already transferred from the community college to St. Aug, I ended up not transferring because all of my credits may or may not transfer over and I didn't want to have to start over again. So I ended up staying, which actually was the best decision I ever made. I can definitely say I learned a lot about myself. I always tell people I grew up, even though I was 21, I wasn't quote unquote grown at the time. But I learned to grow up. I learned to depend on myself. I learned to make a way out of no way. I used to, as people would say, I learned how to make a dollar out of 15 cents. I learned um, to appreciate our culture more. Um, the community that was around the school because it was a small university. Um, the friends that I've made, the experiences that I've had. I went and did a internship at Disney for an entire semester. Um, and just, of course, your good old college fun, hanging out, going to, you know, parties and clubs and things like that. And I felt at that point, I was like, okay. So when I look back on it, I'm very glad that I stayed because friends that I've made there, I have kept them on through this point. And even though we may not see each other all the time, it was still a great opportunity and experience. And now looking at it now, you know, you graduate and you don't necessarily have the time to put into or don't even understand the importance of our schools until really most recently because our schools are in danger. And when I say in danger, they're in danger of closing completely. I know Morris Brown has closed. I think a few schools have completely closed. There's a school here outside of Charlotte, actually, that is on the verge of closing. They're still open, but name only. They no longer have their accreditation. Even my institution um, was on the verge of losing its accreditation and because they had to go under um, different investigations for that. Also, the money. Um, most recently, that's been in the news, um, Bennett College, which is in Greensboro, was actually running out of money and funding, and they could have been on the verge of closing. But in about a week to two weeks, the school was able to raise over $2.2 million. And that was from just the outcry from not just the school, but the students, the alumni. And I think we need to give, especially if we went to HBCUs, if we don't they won't be here and what disservice is that to future students that need to go to school not everybody can get into an ivy league school cannot get into a division one school cannot get into you know you have your ivy leagues and then you have your second tiers which you which are close to being ivy leagues not everybody can do that not everybody can get in but you can get you know look at other options you have your howards you have your your Florida a &Ms, your Crockett Manners, your Spellmans, your Prairie U's, your Cheney's, your Lincoln's, your St. Augs, your North Carolina a ts your North Carolina Central's, that are phenomenal schools, that are top-notch schools, but quiet as it's kept and not celebrated as such. And I think that it would be a disservice to our community because of the reasoning behind that they were created because nobody wanted us to attend the other universities. 
entity that we created that were around at the time that we created our own universities to attend so that we could learn and flourish and get just as good or not a better quality of education than any other school that is out there. And if we lose that, we are lo losing a huge part of our community. And that is why I have taken it upon myself and made it a goal for me for this year and moving forward to be active and be a participant in my alma mater's alumni chapter, local alumni chapter here. Because if we don't save our schools and stand up for our schools, the government's not going to do it. Other people, corporations, they're not going to do it because they don't even see the importance of our schools. You know, we have not only, they're not just schools, you can go attend law school, medical, we have law school, medical school, you know, all types of schools and great people have come out of our schools. So there is no way that we should allow our schools to fall by the wayside at all. So I take it upon and challenge everyone out there who is has um, know someone going to school, you know, is a junior and senior or just in high school. I challenge you to recommend and suggest to them to look at an HBCU or three HBCUs to add to their list or maybe take a school off the list and add a school. And I also challenge for anyone who has attended an HBCU to go back if you are not active in your alumni chapter or alumni association for your school to become active so that your voice is heard and so that we do not writ so we do not lose any other schools because if the government were to stop funding today, I believe our schools wouldn't survive and last like some of your larger institutions, predominantly white institutions that are out there. So that was my uh, reasoning for why I love my HBCUs and why now I definitely feel that it is important for us to take it upon ourselves, especially if we attended HBCUs, to be our biggest advocate. I hope you liked um, today's broadcast, today's video, and if you want me to talk about more videos, things in regards to HBCUs and things of that nature let me know in the comments below also like subscribe and share this with anyone else that is interested in going to school or an HBCU and also remember to go ahead and follow us and I'll put the link in the um, description boxes below for St. Augustine's College for Cheney and any other links that I can find that will help you or someone you know in making a decision to go to, um, to attend an HBCU and to really look into it further. And with all of that, I hope and look forward to seeing you in the next video. Have a great day, guys. Bye.